This is the final vehicle. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I know, I know. They are still some special Mercedes I did not add in here, especially the S Class. I did not have any S Class in right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. So, last time we got a chance to put like most of the Rolls Royce in that garage. Now, we were missing some slots, and also I have to update like those Mercedes slots. So, we got a couple cars parked over there. Let's get something to eat real quick. I don't know what, how many times I'm gonna have to tell her that, <laughs> but we all home. Good? Yeah, let me get something to eat real quick. Just gonna eat something real quick, guys, and we can actually start all day. Let's make sure we had a hundred percent, though. Franklin want to be ready for work, man. Got something to eat real quick. Um, so I finally got a chance to install this uh, wide body F1, but for some reason it just didn't sound right for me. You guys be the judge. It doesn't sound right for me. Um, it's close, not close enough. <laughs> but it is in this garage right now. And this is the car we're going to be driving today. It's a wide body F1, of course. And we do have to go finish up with the McLaren. I mean, I say McLaren. The McLaren garage is coming up soon. We got to finish with the Rolls Royce garage. And I do have a surprise. You know, what? it's not even a surprise. You guys probably going to see from the thumbnail, of course. But let's hurry up. Can you imagine driving something like that on the street? I remember even driving a McLaren. How like everybody would just stop and just to see like yo wh what type of car is this? Well, let's hurry up. Oh, I took the wrong. You know what? We have to drive around a little bit. What car is that in front of us? Oh, that's an Infinity. But definitely, let me know what you guys think about this. It it give me that GTR sound vibe a little bit. But um, just being able to like sit by yourself. Can you imagine just driving a car like this? I don't know, man. Yo, can y'all move? Oh, it's, it was red light. Wait, I didn't know there was a light right here, though. I'm trying to go around these guys. All right, so the garage should be in the back, and you guys already know about this spot. So you guys probably wonder why I have this M5 driving everywhere. It's because this is still till today. Like this is still one of my favorite M5, man. I have it driving all around the map, but um, the rest of the cars are here. And who's parked right in front? <laughs> There's an M5 like parked right there. Oh, this garage is full, man. By the way, guys. Today we'll get a chance to set up a Mercedes garage. There was so much Mercedes. I think we might end up buying a second garage, probably just a second floor, just to fill up with nothing but Mercedes. Because I realize Mercedes been dropping so much cars, man. From the I don't know, I don't know. It's it's too much now. It's too much for me. But um, let's bring this. This is like an older version Rolls Royce, bulletproof, of course. And let's bring it in. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this garage, man. They definitely messed up on a plate, though, if you ask me. All right, so let's bring this upstairs. Come on, Franklin Drive. Actually, over here, it takes over. I'm not the one driving in case you guys see him crash into the wall or something like that. Oh, I didn't know this Rolls Royce had stars, too, guys. Oh, is this like a custom version to this? All right. Oh, I still got to, you know, what? I got to officially delete this. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I didn't know this one. This one had stars too. I don't remember this one having stars. Or maybe they just modified this version. You guys let me know. You guys probably know about Rolls Royce more than me, man. I just got a chance chance to drive a couple of them. That's all. Uh never got a chance to read the brochure like that. Uh but right now, let's remove this. Yeah, it's officially gone now. Okay, so oops. Oh, come on, man. Now I got to call somebody to fix this glass. All right. So the garage is looking good so far, guys. Uh, we all missing two cars, which uh, we got the Colin in um, downstairs and the Dawn. So let's bring those upstairs. And I think we are complete with this garage officially. I don't know. I don't know if you had a choice between between a Range Rover, Colin in G Wagon and probably a Bentayga. Or uh, um, what you call it, a Urus. Which one would you pick? 
which one would you pick guys? This thing is nice though. I'm not gonna lie. Like this thing is nice. I don't know if it's me though. All right, so we're going upstairs. Come on, Franklin, work with me here. Franklin be taking his sweet time. Come on. Please just don't crash. I like how they changed the badge for the column into like uh, all black and stuff like that. All right, so we took the Mercedes slot, guys. This is on point. I think this sh this should have been like my final picture right here. Look at this thing. All right, so let's bring the Don up. And I think just like that, we are good, guys. Let's see our final car for today. So I think you guys are ready for like the Mercedes garage. The Mercedes garage is going to be on point. I'm always expecting the Don to have the stars. Things on point, man. All right, so let's bring it in. Come on. Okay, so officially now, guys, once we drive in, this garage is complete. Let me know if there's anything you, you would like for me to, as I was saying. He crashed it down. Who crashed it down, though? Okay, so this is officially complete. I can't wait to try at the Mercedes garage, but um, we only we can only do 10 Mercedes guys. I don't know how that's going to be possible. We can only do 10 Mercedes and uh, we got too much. We, we actually have way more than 10 Mercedes for sure. I'm going to have to pick. All right, Frank. Uh, let's see. There you go. We finally got an official picture, you know. That's our new garage. Let's see. <laughs> Yo, Franklin, come on, man. Uh, let's change that. Yeah, there you go. I want you to see the cars. All right. I want you to see the cars. Um, let's take an official one again, because the last one was a little bit blurry. We saving that. Just like that, guys. I think we are done. We are officially done. Franklin is smiling too much, though. Look at the grill, though, man. All right, let's get out of here. Um, I guess I'll leave the F1 over here since I gotta drive that C63 to the um other garage. The F1 can actually stay out here. Ain't nobody about to touch this car, man. I was about to say, why is it locked? I don't remember locking this. Okay, 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 okay. You guys remember I had a, um the C forty three version to this. Uh, this this car was good, but I don't know, man. Unless you get the C sixty three like this one, don't even bother going for the C forty three. Just saying. Unless you're looking for a car to get from point A to B. All right. <laughs> but right now, let's hurry up. Oh. We just did that. I mean, you know, he didn't see me. It's like, oh, whoa, I thought you hit the U turn for me, though. All right, we good, we good, we good. Anyway, <laughs> let's try to get to the next garage, guys. I think you guys definitely gonna enjoy this garage. Let me bring this. Wait, did I hit turbos? Woo. You guys definitely gonna enjoy this garage. But the guy already told me he parked everything in the back. I'm just gonna go in there, park this inside. Because we already have a Mercedes in there, but we're just gonna go inside right now. I think we might end up buying a second floor, guys. You see how I have um, apartment ten? I think I might end up buying apartment fifty-seven also. What you guys think? But let's get in. I might end up buying apartment fifty-seven. Please don't crash, just Franklin. Please don't. This is on point though. How do you have to like the animation of you driving in? All right, so we got this bad boy over here. We got this. This is going to be like the official. Oh, should we do like should we separate them where we put the SUVs in one garage? Because Mercedes have enough SUVs to put in one garage. Do we have 10? Not really, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit. We'll, we'll try our best to rearrange the garage, but we got the C63. We got this G over here and um, 
I don't know if I'm going to do the regular G wagon, but we do have one downstairs. So you guys let me know. You guys let me know the four. Would you rather the four by four over the um, the regular G? Let me know. The only thing is you can't drive this everywhere, especially if you live in New York. This ain't for you, bro. Going into those parking lot. You ain't going to like it because that G that G is too high for most parking lot, even an ATL. <laughs> but let's get out of here. Let's go get the other cars. Okay, guys. So now that we are upstairs, can you just imagine having a garage full of Mercedes, though? I know we're going to do the Lamborghinis, McLaren, Audi, and so on. But let's go check out the Mercedes. When I say like we have too many cars, we have too many. And this is like half of them. This is half of them, guys. I know I know this is some of you guys favorite, of course. What would you pick first? You got a chance to pick one Mercedes. What? Which which car would you? I mean, I don't know, man. I'm speechless right now. I don't even know which one to pick. I would definitely pick this old school, though. By the way, I used to have one of these back in the days. Would you pick the MG, the, the GTR? Would you pick the Maybach? My back. <laughs> it came Maybach. Or would you pick this old school C63 over here? Let me know, man. But um, nothing look better than this Maybach over here, man. I feel like this is probably one of one of the most expensive um, Mercedes out there too, other than the G's. But um, as you guys can see, the back seat is on point. Let's bring this in. This is on point, man. Um, I mean, they call it MR 500. I still call it Maybach. The, this the USA version is the Maybach of this. You guys let me know. Yo, this thing had to do like a wide turn, but we're going to bring this in. Come on. You guys let me know if I'm wrong, though. For me, this is a Maybach. All right. Bring this in, please. Franklin, do not crash this. It will cost us a lot just to fix it. I like how they move the camera a little bit, though. All right, so guys, we only allowed to bring ten Mercedes up here. Uh, the GTS, the GTS might be next. I think I'm gonna move this G. Uh, we can actually move whatever car we have out there. Um, all right, so wait, is this it? All right, so we're gonna move you. All the way to the end. There you go. Oh my! You guys didn't see that. You guys didn't see that. All right. So just because we move it, um, I just don't want it. Don't want them to start like putting cars left or. You know what? We'll just use the, the first slot once we come back. But which one will be the next one for you guys? Let me know. Which one will be the next one? I'll take uh, probably the AMG. GTR or GTS. This is I mean, we have too many options, man. We have too many options. We have even the GLS, the Brabus. Um, we have way too many cars, man. Uh, This is one of the new version, though. You guys let me know. You guys let me know. Would you would you guys like this one, too? Uh, but right now I'm going with the MG, man. Yep, this thing always looks sexy though. Hashtag on point. Look at the interior though. And does the gauge work? Yeah, and they did a good job with that. All right. The only thing I feel like they kind of wasted on this car is the fact. I mean, me and CC was just looking at this car today too, man. Not the not this GT, but um, just the regular GTS where. They they kind of like abuse like use all that space for the hood, and there's no like not even a small back seat. Let's say if you have your kids with you, you can't even put nobody in the back, man. You can't put nobody in the back. I understand this is supposed to be a coupe or whatever the case is or a supercar for them, but come on, man, that was a waste. Look at this hood, man. I know they have their reason to, but look at this hood. I probably won't even know how to park this car. <laughs> All right, let's go downstairs. We're just gonna keep going with the list, guys. But put in your requests. The the one that I see the most comment for, just like I did for the Mercedes, 
the one that I see the most comment for is what we're going for next. So you guys let me know. This is one of you guys favorite. I have to bring this in. This is one of all like probably all you guys. This GT 63 over here. GT 63 S. Oh, let's look at the interior though. Oh, and they did a good job, bro. Matching that purple too. Hashtag on point, man. All right, so this is the next car. Now, from like, from what I pick, other than the the, the AMG, which one, which one would you guys go for first? I know some of you guys are gonna say G wagon. Are you sure? Would it be the G wagon your first choice? Or oh, C sixty three? Oh, this GT GT sixty three over here. You guys let me know. But this Mercedes garage is looking good already. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I just wanna, I just wanna finish up. We might have to buy another floor, guys. Just like I say, we might have to buy. Um, the only one available right now is fifty seven. So, let's hope, let's hope. Um, let's hope we're gonna be able to like make it still look good. I feel like I'm gonna leave the SUVs for last, guys. So we just got that. Um. Oh, I forgot about the CLK. Remember the CLK, guys? There's other Mercedes we can actually bring out here too. Um. I don't know if I want to bring this. I guess SLS it is. This is like a lot of people don't know, don't really see this Mercedes like that, but this is still one of my favorite, man. This LS, uh, this SLS Mercedes right here is on point. Let me see. Did they do a good job with the interior? It looked basic, but you guys already know how it is, man. All right. And I kind of like how. Um, so I remember when I bought my Affinity, right? All the technology were in that car for some reason. Like that car was too early for a sound. <laughs> when I say like all the technology that these cars are having right now, from like um, from uh, the the heated seat, the um, AC seat, and all that stuff, we had that since what? Since I bought that car, well, that was back in two thousand, maybe two thousand eight, two thousand nine. But when I say, man, these things were available now, they are putting those things in all these new cars that we have in now. Uh, which one would be next for you guys, guys? Uh, let's see. I want to find that CLK. I want to find that CLK or. OK, guys, so back in the days, yes, that that used to be some of you, some some of you guys favorites. All right, I'm bringing it in. Whether you say it's ugly or not, let me know, man. This CLK GTR one over here. I'm pretty sure some of you guys had a poster of this. Other than me, I had like a a Countach or a Diablo or something like that. I remember I had both at one time. And let's just bring it in. Like I'm pretty sure like most people had a Diablo picture on their wall somewhere. Okay, there you go. The CLK is in here. So I have space for four more cars, which means we have to buy another floor, guys. We have to. We have to. All right, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up and get back over there. I definitely think we have to. All right, so I think I can actually finish this up with like mostly the SUVs. Let's do the GL. Let's do the GL here. Hashtag on point, man. All right, the GLE they did a good job with too, guys. They make it look like exactly like the original version. All right, so we here. It's so funny. The other day, um, I was on the highway. I, there was a GLE 63. I know they fast, but I, I thought they were faster than the G. Not really. I don't know how many horsepower they have. It, he was moving until I stepped on it and I realized, oh, shoot. Yeah, the G Wagon still got it, bro. The G Wagon still got it. All right. So after that, let's bring up the next car. 
definitely let me know man uh i i am planning on doing a bmw garage show i know so i know i do have a lot of bmws friends i got you guys but mercedes won the vote last time all right mercedes won the vote this is why we're going with mercedes right now this bravis over here man one of a kind i've seen some people with bravis in the united states but not much though you'll see one here and there but not that much and when I say like you got to spend so much money over the regular version of the Mercedes, like let's say if the price was like 160, 170, you're probably looking at 200 change, man. But um, let's bring this in. I feel like every Brabus that I see, I probably would just put it in my garage. And this one have a Chinese license plate too. All right, let's bring this in. The garage is almost complete already, man. All right. Uh, which one would you do? I'll do the G wagon. So the new G wagon. I'll bring the new G wagon, and that complete this garage. Just like I say, I'm gonna have to buy the other floor. Um, and uh, which gonna leave me with a couple cars left. Maybe I'll add more to the list. I did not plan on doing two Mercedes garage, but I'm only picking, you know, most of the cars that I have here. But the G wagon is our next winner. Maybe we'll do it like one with mostly newer vehicles, but I feel like we mixed it up though. This G is on point. I just I don't know. I'm still I still like the old version for some reason other than I wish they could put everything that they have in this G wagon in the old version. <laughs> I definitely would enjoy that one. It's possible, but ain't nobody gonna spend money to do that right now. All right, so let's bring this in. I like the old body, the new interior. It's pretty cool with the new interior because they have like a screen that go all the way across and it's a big screen and there's actually light all around the interior and stuff like that. They did a good job though. They did a good job. All right, so guys, this is the final vehicle. Let me know what you guys think. I I know, I know they are still some special Mercedes I did not add in here. Especially the S class. I did not have any S class in right now. Most of the S class were crashed in my game. So we're just going to skip them for now. But I will bring an S class soon. Plus, the next garage is not going to be complete. All right. But um, the fact that I have 2G over here, I might have to update that soon. But just like I say, man, I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. Let's go by the other garage so we can actually figure this out. I think I'm just going to bring the other cars in from there, but um, let's hurry up and do that. Let's see what we got. Uh, I think I got I to gotta go up there again to be able to purchase the garage. Basically, I'm purchasing a room, guys. Um, I'm leasing a room and it comes with these garage. All right. The 223,000 just to save some cars. All right, apartment 57. Now the only thing I'm questioning if it's going to be glitch. We did say we was going to avoid that, but hopefully that's not going to be a problem right now. So let's start with the the first Mercedes up front. Let's hope that's not going to be a problem. This thing's so little. Is that the A Oh, this is the CLA 55. Oh. The CLA 55. This thing's so little, man. Yo, I would not find myself driving this. What? It's so little in person. <laughs> All right. So, apartment 57. Let's see if they fix that. Are we going to have like a clean slate, a uh, brand new garage, or is it just going to drop in the middle of the other garage? I hope it's not going to do that. And it works. It works, guys. I think I might be able to buy some more floors. Okay. I mean, this garage is complete now. We only got two floors. All right. So let's hurry up. Let's bring the other cars. And just like I say, I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. Uh, this episode was brought to you by. No, not really. Not yet. <laughs> not by Mercedes yet, but hopefully soon. Uh, let's bring this in. This Brabus right here, this E Class Brabus, is on point. When I say on point, I would love to have something like this. Look at this, man. I don't know if I would pay the price for the Brabus, 
badge and all the extra stuff that they provide. It's basically like an AMG badge. Would I pay for that? I don't know, man. This is expensive. Oh, it got the F1 light too. Okay, okay. This is the Brabus 800. All right, so we're gonna bring this uh, apartment 57. Franklin, please don't crash this. Oh, so I get to control it a little bit too. I saw that I was able to turn the wheel. All right, second car. Yeah, Mercedes for real, for real though. I could just imagine BMWs. Um, Mer we have too much Mercedes right now, man. I just realized that. I asked this guy for ten. He gave me all this. Well, you know what? We're gonna be able to complete half of this garage. Not even half. More than half, actually. And uh, let's bring this. I feel like we have this car already, but this version is so on point. I had to bring it out too. You guys hear that? Look at the screen. You can actually see the camera. You see how I'm moving? Look at the camera. Now that's on point. You can actually do that in the real version of the Mercedes too. Whatever you say. All right. Anyway. Oh shoot! Stop! 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 All right, so this is the AMG GTR, guys. All right, third car. You guys got me creating these garage, man. I I kind of miss that. We I remember doing this so long ago, actually a couple years ago, where we just build garage. I'm not pretty built, but set up our garage for like whatever cars we want. The Rolls Royce garage look on point so far. So we got the second garage, which is the Mercedes. Our third garage happened to be a Mercedes garage again. So let's just call it as the Mercedes building. All right. This spot over here is going to be the Mercedes building straight up. Now this old class guys, I, this old class, <laughs> this old school over here, man. It's still one of my favorite. I remember um, that was like a hand me down car for me. That car has so much miles on it. But it did drive good. It looked exactly the same. As crazy as it sounds, this E55 over here, it looked exactly the same, bro. This bring back so much memories. But it did drive good, and it did have the Mercedes badge for sure. It did sound good though. What I like the most that they had an exhaust already. You know when somebody passed the car down to you, it had no value really. I couldn't. I can't even sell. I can't even sell that thing for for nothing. Cause one day it start, one day it ain't start. So we have to like be careful. Look at that! You can actually turn. Nah, this is pretty cool. I didn't mean to not not turning every time we pull in. So it was kind of my fault. Franklin wasn't crashing. All right, it was me not turning my wheel. <laughs> all right, yo, this is this take a lot. Yo, this is actually going to work, man. Trying to set up a garage is really going to work. Cause look how long it's taking us just to set up to garage. Come on. The CLK was still one of my favorite. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, "Yo, that car was ugly." Ah, uh, not for somebody that really appreciate cars like that. All right. Come on, this is a C63. You already know what I'm about to do. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh shoot, yo. This thing is on point. Let's see. Uh definitely old school. I remember when they came out with the new body, how everybody was trying to get rid of the wait, E sixty three? Wait, I thought I was oh the regular C sixty three for for the longest. Why does it say E sixty three? What the Okay, so the C sixty three version of this, I remember everybody trying to get rid of the version because um, the new C sixty three came out. Did they make a mistake with this, guys? I don't remember seeing this as an E sixty three, but you guys be the judge, though, man. We got the two old school right next to each other. Let's go downstairs and let's keep filling up this garage, man. And as you guys can see, so far, um. Whatever Mercedes you see that that we are missing, definitely let me know. The E class, um, I didn't have that much. That's why I only brought out what I what I got right now, especially with the old school version. 
Um, what else am I missing? You guys let me know. AMG GTA, GTR, GTS. You guys let me know. I got the Maybach too. Um, the SUVs. I know there's there's so much more SUVs. The four by four, the six by six. You guys let me know. This is the S five hundred. This is one of the new version, guys. You guys let me know. You guys let me know what y'all think though. Let me bring this in. This is clean. This is clean. Would I see myself driving something like this? Yes. This is a boss car right here, man. Look, once we get in, you can actually turn your wheel. There you go. You see that? This is pretty cool. All right. I might have to take like three pictures because the first garage was one and uh, the second garage. Now the Rolls Royce garage is complete. You guys let me know. All right. Now we got about one vehicle left. Wait, how am I supposed to get home? <laughs> I'm gonna call a cab or something. But you guys let me wait. Did they ever release this? I don't even remember this one. Was that the one that I saw Ludacris with recently? I'm not. I'm not even sure. But let's bring this in. Whoa, dude. Though, after this episode, guys, let me know if you even reached this far. Let me know which Mercedes was your favorite, and uh, how would you rearrange this garage? What am I missing? But so far, this is what I got. I went around um, GTA 5 mods and actually found most of the Mercedes that I actually enjoy and uh, brought them in for you guys. You guys, let me know. I'm actually going to move this um, CQ all the way to the end because I feel like, uh, I mean, EQC, I say CQ, EQC um, 400 all the way to the end. We're going to move it all the way to the end. And again, we did it again. All right. But just like that, guys, we are done over here. I definitely hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Let's go back upstairs to the other garage. Actually, I have to walk away and come back. I'm probably going to have to take a taxi home. I can't even do this over here. All right, I got to walk all the way. <laughs> All the way to upstairs. Have you guys seen this apartment too? I think you guys seen it last time. Do they even allow me to purchase? Yeah, I purchased both floors. So, wait, there's more floors? Yeah, I got both floors, man. I was gonna say, I hope they're not trying to make me um, purchase this thing twice. All right, let's go upstairs. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the spot real quick. We are going to apartment 10. That show is amazing. That show, what show was that? All right, so this is our apartment, guys. Um, we did buy another floor, which I mean, this thing look on point, man. Definitely on point. And last time, I, you guys saw how we were able to look at our, our other place over there, that penthouse. Which is one of my favorite places too, man. Probably the fact that we can actually store um so so many nice vehicles in there, just like this. But that the fact that we have somebody parking them and just making sure that the cars um the cars get service on time and all that stuff is pretty cool, man. But you guys seen this place? If you play online, you probably seen this place before. And just like that, I think we are out of here, man. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this for sure. And also, I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Oh, whenever you guys watch this, actually. But um, let's go in the garage, and then we can actually end this over here. Now, just like I was saying, let me know if this is your favorite Mercedes garage. Which Mercedes garage is your favorite right now? Upstairs or downstairs? Uh, this is yeah. I think this is complete. This is it. This is it, bro. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.